Red foxes have been a part of the Yellowstone Wildlife Sanctuary for as long as it has existed. When we took in an abandoned baby fox earlier this year, it looked like the perfect time for a habitat upgrade. We put together a plan to more than double the size of the enclosure, add more trees and shelters, and build a new lockout and entry system. As an accredited animal sanctuary, we work hard to make sure our habitats are up to the latest standards. Our materials and design meet both AZA and GFAS standards for fox habitats. Our board secretary, Victoria Porter, kicked off fundraising for the project. But in the wake of COVID-19, we had a problem. Contractors were hard to find and prices of materials were skyrocketing. Little Claire the Fox was still stuck in quarantine and we just couldn't do this on our original timeline or budget. Luckily, we got solutions to both problems at the same time. A contractor that could build what we needed and donate back some of the labor costs and a foundation willing to write us a grant to cover the cost. So thanks to the Seaberg Foundation and Gabe at X-Bar Bar, the habitat was a go. Our facilities and animal care staff jumped in with help from other staff members and volunteers and construction got underway in earnest. Last weekend, we held a members-only event where we introduced Claire the Red Fox to her new home. Thanks for watching, and for more behind the scenes videos from the Yellowstone Wildlife Sanctuary, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem Podcast everywhere you get your podcasts.